which shows what the king's rovers think of themselves. Granny takes a trip, the shop behind the face calls itself, and it's typical of the non-typical, conforming to the non-conformist image of the inn. What they used to call way out, and before that with it, and before that groovy, and before that hep, and what Granny herself would have called the very latest thing, my dear. Maybe the toy cars are key, childhood, innocence at war with a hard adult world, the fun of dressing up. Hung on you, meaning both we sell clothes and we love you, which is good shopkeeping in any language. And the lollipop says what the toy car said. It's all another tiny colored womb, warm and gentle, in its way an escape from the H-bomb, television, and other horrors of the workaday world. Anybody addressed as madam would probably sue for defamation of character. John Stephen, these are his shops, is the uncrowned king of Carnaby Street. Many of his business rivals would dearly like to see him crowned. The return of the dicky for the man who can't afford it. It girls, oomph girls, who's for tennis girls? Odalisks from the harems of bygone Turkey mingle with kaftan slinkers from gay Arabia and boa-bedecked hoydens from the lids of ancient chocolate boxes. Fun if some designer, somewhere, thought something up entirely new.